recording is on. And this is Frank, and I'm going to be your host today. I'm very excited. We've got a lot of really fantastic things that are happening. And um, I want you all to be a part of these things that are happening. Today is going to be kind of a, an open microphone day. I'm going to mute off for right now. But it's, it is going to be an open microphone because we've got a lot of what really wonderful things to talk about. And um, the first thing is we're on, uh, we are on this quest to get 20 founders. Uh, we've had 30 people step up to the plate and purchase the unsecured um, business funding masterclass. And that is the first step to becoming a founder. There is also a financial um, um, contribution that is required to become a financial, uh, to become an easy pro agent, uh, but also slash founder. The founders are going to have everything that I have. And that is, I spent, and this is not going to cost you this much money. I spent $20,000 to become a member office with finance agents. And I spent 36 years in the finance business. We're going to be sharing all of the assets that I've accumulated over these years and attached to your invitation was a baker's dozen attachment. You can print that baker's dozen out and you can see all of the things that you're going to get for a very, very small fee, a very small fee, a fraction, fraction of what I paid. We're going to supply that to you guys who want to be founders. Now, we had 30 people step up to the plate, only had 26% completion. So we're looking for completion. We're looking for motivation. We're looking for people to step up. What is your mindset? Are you an employee mindset or are you an entrepreneur mindset? I hope that today's mystery guest is going to convince you that you should be an entrepreneur mindset. Next thing I wanted to talk about is we are immediately, immediately going to be sending out some of these um, new leads. I want you to take no, notice. Can, Kimberly, can you see the screen? Has the screen changed? Yes, the screen has changed. You're in new leads. Okay, so new leads. Um, I want to direct your attention down here. I have 432 new leads that I am going to be assigning to you people. And so you people need to get these 432 new leads. So anyone who wants those leads, could you type in the chat box? Um, could you type in the chat box? Yes, I want those leads. Okay. So just in the chat box, type in, yes, I want those leads. Anyone who wants these leads, 432 leads, anyone who wants to participate in working that, type in the chat box. I would like to participate. I want some leads. All right. Next thing we're going to talk about is, um, is affiliates. Have, as you might change as my screen changed to affiliates. Yes, it has. Okay. So look down. I want to bring your attention down to the bottom here. I have 695, 695 agents. I am going to be assigning these 695 agents out to founders. I'm going to be I'm going to be assigning these agents out to Easy Pro agents. We are building a team for you so that you don't have to build that team. We're going to be building the team for you. So um, I'm going to shut off my um, airplane mode so that my phone doesn't bother us. So if, if you want to be uh, receiving, if you'd like to be a recipient of some of these 695 uh, standard agents, 695 standard agents are going to be assigned to pro agents. If you want to do that, type in the chat box. I want some of those 695 standard agents working for me. Okay, 
next thing is every morning when I open up my email, I get, Frank, you just got to leave. Help me out here. Kimberly, you see in my screen? Yes, we can see it. I, I can see it. So, Frank, you just got to leave. Frank, you got to leave. Frank, you got to leave. Frank, you got to leave. I want that to be your name there. I want your name in front of there. All of these leads that come in, I want these to be in your name, not my name. I want you to get the commission, not me. I want these leads to come into you. This is our automated system. It is working. The automated system is currently up and running. I am right now ready to begin assigning out of new leads that come in from finance agents, new leads that come in from the internet, and I'm ready to sign out of standard affiliates out to um, all of the, the agents that want to step up to become Easy Pro agents. I really strongly, strongly want to encourage you to complete the course if you haven't already, or take the course and jump in front of somebody who hasn't completed it. So you can, if, if right there on your invitation, but for this call today, uh, right there on that invitation, there is a, a way that you can sign up for that easy financial unsecured business funding master class. It should not take you any more than the weekend to complete that unsecured master class. It's a very short class. Once you've taken that class, you will be uh, qualified, you'll be certified, and you'll be able to move forward and become an easy pro agent. And I will be assigning all of these out the month of February. These are all going to be assigned out to people, and you might as well grab your share of them. Okay, with that, I am going to ask Dr. Yes, it, it changed. Oh, thank, fantastic. Who is the gentleman's name there? Siku Obadias. Okay, so Dr. Siku, Coach Siku, are you out there? If you are, please unmute yourself. Uh, maybe I'll... See, there you are right there, and I will unmute you. Okay, you are unmuted. Coach, are you out there? Yes, sir, I'm here, and good afternoon, Frank, and good afternoon to the team. Oh, your volume is way, way low. I just barely hear you. Test, test, could you hear me a little closer now? Oh, that's a little bit better. Yes, sir, thank you, thank you, Great. thank you. Um, well, I just want to introduce um, Dr. Ziku to you. Um, he is um, a um, he's a father. He's a he's a grandfather. He is an entrepreneur. He is a trainer, um, and he has a tremendous story that I want to tell you about. So, just um, Coach Ziku, could you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, again, thank you very much, Frank, for the opportunity to speak to, you, to yourself and your team. Um, but first of all, before I even spend a, a minute talking about myself, I want to talk about, um, about you, Frank, and my relationship with you, and why I'm so pleased to be able to be uh, offering a few words to your team today. Um, I'm not sure if the, uh, if the members of the team know how fortunate they are to be in business with you. I choose to be in business with you and, and having met you, have found you to be an unbelievable person. Personally, you are a great visionary leader, very unselfish, careful, resourceful, but most importantly, I found you to be a very genuine person. And that's why I was attracted to you. Um, from a business perspective, you have many, many years of sales and business success experiences and have built an unbelievable platform to help not only people, the general public dealing with their own circumstances, but have provided an unbelievable opportunity to help those that are in the team. I hope the people in the team know how fortunate they are to be in business with Frank. And Frank is a good guy and that's why I'm happy to share with you. 
Uh, regarding myself, um, what you did not mention in my bio is that I'm also, I've also held professional license as a mortgage broker, insurance broker, uh, NSSD securities principal. I've held and ran my own personal uh, financial company, leadership training, business training. But most significantly, uh, I'm a personal development life coach, and I would deem that to be my most important and impactful contribution because it helps people to get to where they want to be. Well, thank you. Those kind words were so very kind of you. I appreciate that. And I'm, I am looking forward to um, having a great relationship with you and you joining our organization on a full-time basis to provide encouragement and coaching for, for people. But based on our conversation earlier, your life seems to be uh, a fascinating and inspiring story. So why don't you share the story of how you came to be to the United States? Thank you, Frank. Frank, I was very fortunate in that I was born in a little country in South America, Guyana. And at the time when I was there, I grew up under a socialist system. So I know what it is firsthand from experience to grow up in a system where government control everything, government control businesses, um, government control your life. The individuals don't have choices to make about where they who they are, where they want to go, what they want to do, how successful they want to become. So I know firsthand um, from that experience. Also, in my early age, I was very fortunate to have two parents, two mothers, two fathers. My, my biological mother, um, um, her eldest sister, who is my aunt, sort of adopted me and my two other siblings when I was very young. So, and I call them mommy. So I had two mothers, two fathers, and they provided unbelievable loving care, introduced me to Jesus when I was very young, provide all kinds of great foundational support, provide structure. So I was very fortunate in that sense. Regarding my education, I was dyslexia. and did not know that I was dyslexia, so I could not read. And Guyana is a British colony. So the education system is British. And when you are in a British education system, everything is reading. There is no multiple choice. Even mathematics is reading. And if you can't read, it becomes difficult for you to function in, an, in that education system. So I was never attracted to education because I could not read. And it really pushed me in a bad place. Even though I had the great support from my parents telling me how good I am and I can be all I can be and I was very self-confident, the thing that held me back in life most, more importantly was the fact that I didn't have an academic education. When I came to the United States at the age of 27 in 1982, could not read, could not write. The reason that I came here because my family lived a middle class life and offered me everything I needed back home, but I came here because I wanted an education badly. Went back to high school at night, got a high school education, um, entered college, start medieval, um, everything I had to do, I had to go through the, the prerequisites before. Um, however, I graduated as a, a computer engineer um, with honors. And then I stumbled upon a book, Think and Grow Rich, and Les Brown, Live Your Dreams. And those two books opened my mind to achieve the things that I eventually achieved. And from that point, within 15 years, I earned my first million dollars, um, built several successful companies, um, and developed a program GPS, the Guiding Principles for Success, which I prepared, um, writ written several books and set up to be able to allow people to enjoy some of the successes that I have achieved. So do you want to tell us a little bit about some of those books that you've written? 
Yes, I can. Those books were written pretty much to be a foundation for the guiding principle of success uh, principles courses that I run. I have been very fortunate to visit several countries, held seminars in, in, in just about all of those companies, all of those countries and helped many people. Among the books that I have written um, uh, include, but not limited to parenting, business, leadership, money, spirituality, and my most recent book deals um, heavily with mindset and mindset principles. It provides the foundation for what I call the MVP, to provide and help people to develop their morals, values, and principles that they can live by. Well, that's a, that's a, a great uh, story, and it's um, a rags to riches story, to be sure. And what I really want to talk to you about is you, you're a person that lived through it. So you come from a hard situation to the top of the heap. How can, how can you help my organization? How can you help the people that we have here on this group? Frank, your group, and I want to speak directly to them. According to the principles outlaid in my program, the guiding principles to success, there are four basic things that you need to be successful. One, you need a desire. Two, you need the resources or tools. Three, you need opportunity. And four, you need to take action. They are extremely fortunate in that they are already here, which means that they have already um, show us that they have the desire. Secondly, they have an opportunity because you have already provided a platform and an opportunity for them to move with and work with. The only thing that they are missing is a little bit tweaking in some of the philosophy, some of the things that I will discuss in a minute, which are the tools that can help them to take the actions necessary. They are in a position that there is nothing on earth that they want and they desire that they cannot achieve. The foundations of all my books really start from Genesis 2, which states in the beginning, God developed man, God created man from the dust and blew into his nostril his own breath. To break that down, each and every one of us, we were created with the unbelievable power to create and shape the life that we desire. The very last thing that God created was man. But when man was created, the only thing that existed at that time was nature. Look around you. Everything that you see that is not natural or nature came from a creation of the mind of a man. And I'm telling you that each and every man, woman, boy, and girl have the genius of an Einstein built in. We all have it. What's missing is that we are not, we were not told or taught how to access that mind. Once you know how to turn on the power within you, there is absolutely nothing that you can't achieve. Whatever one man has done, every other person can do. You might not be able to do it as fast because people have different tools, they have different backgrounds and different circumstances. However, as long as one man have achieved it, we all can. I didn't tell my story to impress you. I tell my story to impress upon you that I have the experience and credentials to support my books, my speaking, and my coaching. However, if I can do it, coming to this country, can't read, can't write, at the age of 27, and got to a point without a coach, because I had to stumble my way through and learn how to achieve the highest heights, travel the world, live in mansions. If I can do it, so can you. Because you are fortunate that you don't have to start from scratch. I didn't have a coach, but I would help you to provide all of the shortcuts, avoid all of the traps, and help you to expand your mindset to be able to achieve the success that you deserve. 
And I know that you can do it because you have greatness inside of you. You have already taken the very first step to greatness, which is showing us you have the desire because you took the first action. You join an opportunity. I'm saying that you can do it. We all can do it. And that's a great, that's a great segue into the Thursday night call. Now, we only have a half hour on this call. It's lunch with the leaders. And, and I want to invite each and every one of you to come back tomorrow night, Thursday night at 9 p.m. Um, it's going to be 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with only a half hour. Dr. Siku doesn't even have the time to even scratch the surface. So, I mean, I, I just want to really share this with you. Uh, Dr. Siku is going to be a regular part of our company. We're going to be able to tap into his leadership, his training, but most of all, his mindset. The mindset of a millionaire. If you, if you have the mindset of a, an employee, then you're going to get what you always get. But if you open your mind and open, open it up to having the mindset of a millionaire, why there isn't anything in the world that you can't accomplish. And with my 36 years experience in finance, um, I am pouring out week after week, fantastic pearls of wisdom. All we have to do now is to get you to open your mind and accept it. So this Thursday evening at nine o'clock, I'm gonna send out another invitation what I'd like each and every one of you to do is to call up everyone that you know. If you have a team already, call the people on the team and bring them to, to Thursday night's meeting. It's going to be a generic meeting. It's not necessarily about easy financial. It's not necessarily about that. So anybody that you bring will benefit. Anyone that you bring to the Thursday night's meeting will benefit from the conversation that Dr. Siku and myself will be having, and we'll have time to actually open it up for questions and answers, and we can get uh, right down and be specific. But, but uh, Coach, tell me, what are some of the myths about success and opportunities? Um, one of the myths is that uh, America is the great example of one of the myths of success in that America has all of the tools, all of the information, all of the technology, all of the resources, all of the money, any and everything that you need for success is right here. Yet, so many people that were born here, live here, die here without ever even achieving one-tenth of their own possibilities are really fulfilling or living the American dream. The greatest myth to success is that you need to have things, you need to have tools. The absolute foundation for success is to have a positive mental attitude. If you don't have the proper mindset, you cannot be able to take advantage of opportunities that's available to you. So a positive mental attitude is the foundation. Many people look at money, material things, or, um, or status as success. To be truthful, money, material things, and status are only some of the benefits of being successful. If you could really pour yourself within yourself and find ways to improve yourself with the foundation of a mindset, then money, material things, and all of the other things will be just tangential benefits. The myth of success is that you have to be in a, in a position or have the opportunity, not true. The opportunity is here. In America, it has everything, but you have to have the mindset to be able to take advantage of that opportunity. That's one of the greatest myths of success. The other thing is that if you look at, at so many celebrities and people we look at in the news every day, end up killing themselves, and using all forms of, of um, chemical substances. Why it is that people that have all of the money, all of the tools, all of the houses, all of the cars end up killing themselves? Having a, 
a grounded foundational mindset first, which is the layer for success, would allow you to be a person that enjoy a fulfilled purpose-driven life that's balanced, that you don't have to turn to substances to make you feel good. All right. Well, we are running out of time. It, like we said, we only have this half hour. And um, I just, again, I want to encourage everyone to look for their invitation and forward that invitation to as many people as you possibly can, because this is not about making money. This is going to be about changing lives. Um, when people's life, when people's mentality changes, when people's mindset changes, all kinds of wonderful things can happen. Yes, can you make money? Absolutely. But but it being rewarded is uh, and being living a rewarding life is more than just money. And and that's kind of some of the things that we're going to talk about um, on Thursday evening. And um, I'm, I'm really going to strongly, strongly suggest that everyone bring as many folks as they can. They don't have to be in our business, although it helps. Anyone that is in our business, please bring them. Anyone that's not in our business, what what we're going to be talking about and, and what Dr. Siku and I are going to be sharing is golden keys that are hidden from people's success. The keys that unlock your mind and unlock the success that each and every one of us is capable of, of achieving. And that's, that's, the, that's such an important thing. Is there anything else that you'd like to add to that before we, uh, we close out? Yeah, I, I just want to uh, stress the importance of coaching. Um, spend a minute on that. Um, <clears throat> If you look at anyone that have achieved phenomenal levels of success, if you look at sports, for example, Larry Bird, uh, Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, Tom Brady, even to Kobe that just passed, the one thing that ties them all together, no matter how great they were, they all have coaches. Now, life is so important and people live life without a coach. Now, why a coach? Because a coach helps you to be able to stretch you and push you beyond the bounds when you think you can't go further. A coach helps you to become accountable, helps you to give you guidance to the thing that you need to do because they have done that before. There are so many things that is benefit, beneficial from having a coach. Um, that's why personal development coaching is so important. Not only it provides you with the tools where you get from training, but gives you the motivation, helps you to sustain um, all of the things that you're working with and help you to get over the top. So what I will be covering on Thursday, among some of the things that we'll be covering in the mindset, I will really be going into some more depth into coaching and, mind, and, and what personal, personal development coaching is and how it can benefit the team. All right. Well, if, if you think that you are going to be on that Thursday night call, please in the chat box say, I will be there Thursday night. Just type that in so that I know who is going to be coming. And um, with that, I'm going to say, um, I, 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 he likes to be called coached. So Coach Siku, I'm going to say thank you so much for your guest appearance. And thank you. And, and we'll be talking about a lot of things on Thursday night. And we'll make some books available and some training available to you. But uh, Coach Siku and I are going to do some collaboration so that you will have access, direct access to Coach Siku uh, from time to time on your own. But we just wanted to, I just wanted to introduce him today because you have right before you, what I just laid out at the beginning of this presentation, 432 leads, 700 agents, and, and endless uh, leads coming in on a daily basis. Those are all going to be distributed to you. How you use them is up to you. 
and I want you to use them wisely. And I want to have Coach Siku help you unlock the keys to success and the GPS. Tell us again what that GPS stands for. Guiding Principles for Success. So with that, I want to say thank you and thank each and every one of, that have come on today. I really appreciate it. I'll be looking in your inbox for the invitation for tomorrow night, Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, we'll use the same link that we used today. So you can just forward today's link out to other people. And uh, do you have any last words that you'd like to say? Each of us have greatness within us. There is absolutely nothing that we cannot do. And the only thing that is stopping us from getting to the top of the mountain is to have a changed mindset. And it's possible. And I'll help them to do that. Well, I have a millionaire's mindset. And I want to share that with everyone else. I know, Coach Siku, you have that millionaire's mindset. You've been there, done that, earned it. You've got the badges to prove it. So, um, God willing, we're going to have a very, very big show on Thursday night. And um, God bless. Thank you. Good evening. Good afternoon.